Thirteen haunted highways, roads so scary, you'll never drive again. Imagine cruising along a dark, deserted highway late at night, your headlights barely cutting through the fog, dread heavy on your nerves, a cold shiver running down your spine, despite the heated seats. Suddenly a figure appears in the middle of the road. You hit your brakes, but but there's no one there. Today, as we near the midnight hour of Halloween, we're issuing a hazard warning to all drivers everywhere. Beware the 13 most haunted highways in the world. These roads are so scary. You may never drive at night again. From the ghost of dead hitchhikers to the specter of road haulage carrying nothing but all your worst nightmares. Spooky superchargers and terrifying turbos. These are the tales from the tarmac that serve as dire deterrence, warning trespassers not to disturb the dead or to challenge the most daring drivers amongst you to steer your way towards these streets of terror. If you're of a nervous disposition, I suggest you switch off your ignition, leave your car, lock yourself in your homes, and keep the curtains shut tight. For the rest of you, join me right after this to find out which roads are the world's most deadly drives. <laughs> Ah, Clinton Road, New Jersey's pride and fear. Imagine throwing a coin off a bridge only to have it thrown back up at you by the ghost of a dead child. And that's just for appetizers. Legend has it that occult rituals are conducted in the dense woods that line the road. Murdered bodies are dumped within, and ghostly figures have been seen lurking in the shadows. One person claims to have seen the ghost of a Camaro, driven by a girl who supposedly died when she crashed it in 1988. Apparently the mere mention of this incident can summon the apparition. An infamous phantom truck is also known to appear out of nowhere with its blinding headlights and roaring engine chasing down unsuspecting drivers and just when you think you're done for, it vanishes. This is literally Nightmare Street. It's like a focal point of supernatural road shenanigans and there are witnesses and reports to confirm the goings-on are as real as that like button below. Go ahead, hit it, I dare you. Occult rituals, spooky figures, disappearing hitchhikers. If you're brave enough to drive this Clinton Road at night, then keep your windows rolled up and don't stop. Don't ever stop. The A75 is the most haunted road in Scotland and is known as the Ghost Road. Oh, it's as eerie as they come. Drivers have reported seeing ghostly apparitions crossing the road, including the spirits of people, animals, and shadowy figures that vanish as soon as you blink, including screaming hags and eyeless phantoms. One tale involves a ghostly couple who suddenly step out in front of vehicles as if daring drivers to hit them, or imagine driving and suddenly seeing a spectral deer, but instead of hitting it, you pass right through it. One lorry driver, after seeing shadowy groups of medieval people pulling handcarts and carrying unknown bundles of fear, famously quit his job on the spot, or presumably after reaching his destination. Frankly, you can't blame him. 
The A75 isn't just haunted, it's a supernatural zoo and a museum of historical deprivation. Only drive it if you want to share the road with ghosts and ghouls. <coughs> to the exotic east now and the eerie E8 expressway or as I like to call it, the highway of hesitant hitchhikers. Imagine a stranger waving for a lift, only they disappear once you let them into your car. Some drivers have even reported looking in their rearview mirror to see a face they don't recognize, staring back at them from inside their own car. Worse still, some claim that these ghostly hitchhikers whisper things, words they can't quite make out, but which leave them with an unsettling feeling. I don't know about you, but perhaps what's really unsettled here is that these mysterious hitchhikers have not forked out their share of the petrol money. <laughs> Things can always get a little worrying down under, can't they? Particularly if you go near Australia's Wakehurst Parkway, because reportedly it has its own ghost, and her name is Kelly. They say if you drive this road between midnight and 3 a.m., Kelly might just join you. Drivers claim their radio starts switching channels. The temperature inside the car plummets. And some even say they see Kelly sitting in the back seat, grinning with a sinister smile. You know, the sort of smile that says, You shouldn't have come here. Frankly, so I just unbuckle my belt, open the door, and step out at that point. Forget about slowing down or even stopping. Wakehurst is definitely the one road where carpooling is not encouraged. A word to the wise, legend has it, that if Kelly is in your car, you must not look directly at her or she might just decide to stay with you. Forever. Let's talk about the hairy hands of Dartmoor. Oh, I'm not even joking. People have claimed that a pair of hairy, disembodied hands took control of their steering wheels, forcing them off the road. How did that go down on the insurance claim, I wonder? But imagine the terror of feeling your hands being overpowered by something unseen, something monstrous. One motorcyclist said he felt these cold, hairy fingers gripping his hands, wrestling him towards a ditch. People have reported a suffocating sense of dread, as if those hands are just waiting for the perfect moment to strike. The B3212 is beautiful by day, but when it comes to werewolves at the wheel, I check for a full moon before even contemplating grabbing the car keys and heading out onto the moors. Well, I mean, come on. If you're going to call the road the A666, a reference to the beast itself, what else could it be? But the devil's own highway. Unsurprisingly, there have been numerous reports of shadowy figures, creepy whispers and phantom sightings along its length. Locals believe that a dark presence haunts the road, causing bizarre and often fatal accidents. Drivers have experienced sudden chills, unexplained car malfunctions, and even ghostly passengers. One story involves a figure dressed in black standing by the roadside, only to vanish as you approach, only to then reappear again elsewhere. If you accept the dare to drive the devil's own road, I suggest you take an exorcist along for the ride, just in case. If hairpin turns on a mountain road aren't terrifying enough, 
Add into the mix the victims of the road. Return to haunt the mountain. Sierra de Juarez in Baja, California, Mexico. La Rumorosa, known to the locals as the Highway of Death, has earned its reputation due to the thousands of deaths along its winding, treacherous path. The rocky cliffs and deep ravines are littered with the charred wrecks of cars and the entire area feels like an inhospitable lunar landscape. Drivers have reported strange sightings, including a ghostly old woman asking for a lift, only to vanish as soon as the door opens. There are stories of a nurse who died in an ambulance crash and is now seen roaming the highway, and a young cyclist who was left to die after a hit and run. Ghostly figures and mysterious, luminous beings have all been witnessed here, adding to the paranormal allure. One chilling story involves a truck driver named Francisco Vasquez, whose ghost has been seen at the site of his fatal accident that occurred years earlier, yet still asking passing drivers to deliver a message to his wife. His body was never recovered and the mystery adds to the unsettling nature of this cursed road. In fact, this road was featured in a James Bond movie, License to Kill, where Bond actor Timothy Dalton nearly went off a cliff himself whilst filming. During filming, numerous unplanned accidents and paranormal incidents occurred, including cars starting and stopping on their own, leaving the crew members shaken and stirred. Some have even reported frequent UFO sightings in the area, with locals believing these phenomena may be linked to a curse from the Kumeye tribe whose sacred land the road traverses. Only the bravest drivers should dare to ride this road, but remember, you may not be alone. The Uniondale Phantom Hitchhiker is South Africa's most famous ghost story. Marie Charlotte Roux was killed in a car accident on Easter Sunday in 1968. And since 1973, there have been reports of her suddenly appearing in cars, driving along the road. She is dressed in an old wedding gown, then vanishes into thin air, without so much as a thank you. Oh manners, these ghosts. One driver reported her appearing beside him, whispering her name before vanishing as he screamed in terror. It said... If you see her, she'll haunt your dreams too. Still, this is one bride that clearly didn't want to be late for her big day. Ah, Route 66, an iconic legendary road. The road, some would say, a bucket list drive for many. But for those still waiting to traverse across America on this legendary route, are you ready for some chilling encounters? Specifically around the stretch in Arizona near Two Guns, where there have been sightings of ghostly Native American spirits, figures that stand in the middle of the road, staring before dissolving into thin air. There's also an abandoned zoo nearby. Oh yes, a ghost zoo. Locals say at night you can hear the sounds of animals that haven't been there for decades. Imagine hearing a lion's roar on an empty moonlit highway. Or could it be that you inadvertently put the Lion King soundtrack on your stereo? But whatever you do, don't take any guns to Two Guns, Arizona. If you lose your mind in fear, you might be tempted to cut short your own epic trip down Route 66. The name of the road, Bloods Point Road, doesn't help. 
taken from the blood family that settled there in the 1800s, it certainly has a tragic and bloody history. As a phantom train whistles in the dead of the night, a ghostly school bus appears on the side of the road. It is haunted by the spirits of children from a tragic accident in the 1950s as they return from a party one evening. And the horror doesn't stop there. The driver happened to have been dressed as a clown and now he's not shy in showing off his disfigured remains. Some drivers have even reported seeing small handprints on their car windows when they drive past at night. Trust me, that's not a field trip anyone wants to go on. A scary clown and giggling children up to deadly mischief? Don't even think about stopping for trick or treat on a Halloween night. Duen Moon Road is a very congested highway located in Hong Kong, linking Tuen Moon and Sun Wan. Known for its frequent accidents, many locals believe that the spirits of those who died haunt Tuen Moon Road, appearing suddenly in front of drivers, causing them to swerve and crash. In 2003, a bus crashed, resulting in 21 deaths. Some people say the spirits of those victims wander around the area. One chilling report describes the driver seeing a figure step into the road. He slammed on his brakes only for the figure to vanish. When he stepped out to check, there was no one there but the handprints on his bonnet told a different story. Again with the handprints, man. They are a nightmare to clean off. The M6 motorway? Our M6? The UK's longest motorway? There be ghosts on that too? Well, although the 230 mile motorway was opened in 1958, some of the bits between junctions 16 and 19, from around Stoke on Trent to near Manchester, are actually nearly 2,000 years old and were used by the Romans. Drivers have reported seeing Roman soldiers, yes, whole legions marching across the road in full battle gear. Some say they hear the faint clinking of armor and distant war cries as if the spirits are still preparing for some eternal, infernal battle. The spectres have been reported to walk straight through cars, leaving behind a chilling cold that lasts for miles. And as if dodging Caesar's ghost army wasn't enough of a navigational nightmare, this area has also earned the name the Bermuda Triangle due to hitchhikers mysteriously vanishing there. So remember, my friends, if you find yourself carless, give the thumb a rest and take the train. And lastly, we have Belken Tunnel in Switzerland, where the ghost of an old woman appears dressed in white. Drivers have spotted her suddenly, appearing out of nowhere in or near the tunnel. There have been numerous reports logged about her since 1980. She became something of a local legend. In 1983, it was reported that two female law professionals picked up an inconspicuously dressed, clumsy, pale, middle-aged woman in Eptingham. When they later asked her if she was feeling better, she answered, No. Unfortunately not. I am not well at all. Something really awful is going to happen. Something very dreadful. When they looked back at the seat behind them, the woman had disappeared. Well, at least nothing happened to the jurists. That we're aware of. 
Well, there you have it. 13 of the most haunted highways in the world. Which one would you dare to drive on? Or perhaps it's enough to hear about them from this episode of Tales from the Tarmac. But while this video has come to an inevitable end, the horror stories need not. So if you've got any ghost stories from the streets of hell, drop them in the comments below. Happy Halloween! Until next time, drive safe. Or should I say... Drive scared. <laughs> Hi guys, I've been writing. This is my first book, a novel, an all-out action thriller, and this one is a collection of 13 stories I've written over the course of two decades. The Ulysses Files and The Quantum Races by BC Guy are out now on Amazon.com. Shout out time, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, if you enjoy my content, why not get involved? Buy me a coffee. You can do that at either of these links. Or if you're watching on YouTube, buy me a thanks or take out a membership. It all helps. It really does.